Welcome to the fourth video in our Tinkercad series where today we're diving into creating this trackside signal house. And if you're new here, these videos increase in complexity. So there's a link in the description down there. You may need to back up and go check the beginner tutorial or in the Switchman Shanty in the Gambrel Barn before you do this one and catch up at your own pace. But by following along with me by the end of this video, you'll have your own printable model at home for your layout. And for those of you that want to just skip the building process altogether, come early 2025, we should have all these models available on our eBay and Etsy stores. There are links in the description for that. This over here, and now we get to it. All right, everybody. Um, I might move a little quick in here because I'm not sure if this is going to be one or two parts. If I can get it under 40 minutes, we'll just do it in one part. But if it's going to be over 40 minutes, then what I'm going to have to do is do 220-somethings and upload them 48 hours apart, parts one and two. First thing we want to do is we're going to build this bottom base down here, and I've got my cheat sheet over here, and we're going to do it 74 by 40 by 3. So this will be 40. This will be 74. And this will be 3. Just pause if you need. Start and stop and come back. All right. Let me put this over here. That is our bottom, bottom base down here. Now I need another rectangle. And this one's going to be 70 by 36 by 28. So we'll do this. This is going to be 36. 70. And... 38 and I want to bring it up to see this right here I'm gonna go ahead and change my snap grid down here to 0.25 just because it's a finer snap all right and now I need to hollow this guy out so let's duplicate it let's change it to a hole and what we're going to do is, because I'm doing this in HO scale, um, I'm going to make these walls three millimeters each. So I'm able to scale it down to Z and it won't be too thin. All right, so it's 70 now. So 70 minus three is 67. If, I'm a, if you were HO scale, I would suggest doing these minus two. Maybe two and a half even if you want to get technical. Those would be the best size. All right, 36 minus three is 33. I'm going to click here, and 67 minus 3 is 64 last time I checked, I think. And then I'm going to click here, 33 minus 3 is 30. All right. Now I want to make sure that I have the transparent box selected. I do. Let's drop this down. And here, here, and we'll do a group. All right. Now... We're going to come over here and get a shape that we haven't used in this series before. I'm going to go ahead and drop this back down. I do want it up to two, but I'm going to drop it back down for purposes of our next operation. And um, I'm not doing a lot of editing in these videos, so sometimes I do do oops and backs up. So let's click that, and we're going to come all the way down to Shape Generators, okay? And when we give Shape Generators pops up, you should have this guy right here called Varnoy or something. And basically what that is, is let's change this to a nice, this to a nice gray. That's a nice rock wall. So let's flip this to 90. All right. And then let's bring this in here. All right. Bring it up. Hit D and drop. Now I'm going to use my, all right, so one, two. All right, I'm touching one, two. All right. Let's bring this out to our edge. I'm using the black one to pull, not the white ones. The white ones will skew your pull. Black one. Here. Swing around, make sure, yep, we're even. All right. Back up. Here, 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 and 
here. Let's make sure we're even. All right. Yep, we're good. All right, now, at home, if you would like to pause the video, click on this, pause the video, come over here, play with your uh, rock wall. You can make this look however you want. I'm going to leave it alone for purposes of speed. All right, so I'm going to click that rock wall part, and I'm going to duplicate it, right? I'm going to use my arrows to move it over. All right, let's scroll in. I'll move my arrows to move it back. Touching, one, two. All right, I'm in there, 0.5. Now let's click this again and duplicate it, and let's spin it 90. Bring this here. And now I want to make sure I'm lined up here properly, right? There we go. We're good. Good, good. And now we just need to reduce this one to make sure it's fitting properly. Should be one more. Yep. Boom. There we go. Back up. Let's select it again. Let's move around. Let's duplicate. Use your arrows. <clears throat> Let's scroll in. Arrows again. Touching one. Wait, touching now. One, two. All right. Now I'm going to back up. I'm going to change the color of this red to a tan. And then I'm going to group it together. I'm going to click solid and multicolor. Now I'm going to click this, hold shift and click the base. And I'm going to click the align button. I'm going to center them on each other. I'm going to center them here. Okay. I'm not going to group them yet, I don't think. But now we've got our rock base and bottom. And so the next thing we will do is create our top base. And our top base will just duplicate the bottom. That's why we didn't want to group yet, and we're going to duplicate. It tells me to bring this up Oh, wait, hold on. I've got two of these now. No, I don't. One. I want to bring this up to two. Sorry. I have two of the bases now. I brought this up to two from the bottom. Now I want to click this extra base. Bring it on up to 30. I say 30. What did I do? Click here and here. This says 38. I made a mistake. This should say 28. I apologize. Let's change that. Make sure that yours says 28 here. I must have accidentally typed 38 or something, but I apologize. All right now, we need to drop this down to 30. I knew something was wrong because 30 wasn't right, and 30 is right. There we go. Now we're going to click here and here. I need to change that 74 to 90. And see, if you click on that end, this side's the side that's going to move, and that's what we wanted. Um, now, on our sides here, we're going to change this one to 50. So I want to go here and do 45 on one side, and then here I'm going to change it to 50 now. So it'll move 5 on each side that way. <clears throat> All right, it's 3 already. And... Now we will need to do the top body. Back to shape generators, back to basic shapes. Rectangles, bring it in. All right. We are going to um, click here. Let's click here and here and here. All right. The top body is... 70 by 48 by 30. Let's go here and we're going to go 70 by 48 
by 30. Not 40, Brian. All right. Now, we we'll click here. We will duplicate. We will click a hole. All right. Let's click here, and we'll go 67, enter. Here, 45, enter. I'm subtracting 3. Here, 64, enter. Here, 42, enter. Click the transparent. Let's bring it up, shrink it down, and group them. Let's change it because we're good like that and it says that I need to raise it 32 but I'm gonna wait on doing that actually because we're gonna put lattice wire uh, boards on it let's drop it let's put our boards on first all right the body boards are let's bring a rectangle in and we're going to change our color. And we'll click the corner piece. And our body boards are six here. I'm going to go one here. This would be fine um, because we're going to group it to the wall. So even in Z, it should be fine. We're going to click here. That has been considered. And 22. All right, let's go here, here. And we're going to raise this up to the top. Let's make sure it's even. And let's make sure it's touching. We want it in just a touch. All right. Now, we're going to do a rotation of 2. 2%. Two or negative 2, depending upon the way you're doing it. And let's just make sure we're even again. We're even because we did rotate. Now we're going to use the black one so we don't skew. Black one. black one there now I would like for you to click the board and let's duplicate the board I'm going to drop the board down to 21 let's say Maybe even 19. Let's go to 19. And now, remaining, keeping it selected, you can now duplicate, 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 duplicate. Now, what I'm going to do is come here, drop this one down a bit and pull it up let's make sure i'm going to pull it up and then i'm going to hit d now i know it's dropped to the base <clears throat> i'm going to click this i'm going to hold shift and click this 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 and now i'm going to group them now i'm going to duplicate and mirror i'm going to click this side and then I'm going to use my arrows to move the other side over. All right, here we go. Now I click here, I click here. I'm going to duplicate again, and I'm going to spin it. I'm going to bring this this way. So 
use your arrows for fine tuning. And it could be that this snaps a little bigger. What I'm going to do is I'm even going to change it to 1 now, 0 0.1, which gives me 10 instead of 4. And that's about the closest I can get over here. Now I'm going to come over here. We're good there. Let's click here. Duplicate. Mirror. Click the arrow pointing this direction. And now use your arrows to move your other side over. As I mentioned at the beginning, I am going to put these guys on Etsy and eBay, but it will be after Christmas because I'm not going to have time to do um, them before that. They have to all be fine-tuned in each scale, and that takes a minute. All right, so look, we're good right here. we got a pretty even thing all the way around, and that's what we're wanting. Now let's just get over here, and let's do a group together. All right, now my um, cheat sheet tells me to bring this up. To 32. I'm going to change this back to 0.25. Click here and type 32. This way I get more even snaps. And so let's click here. Hold shift. Click here. We'll align them. We don't want to get out of alignment with the other one though. Zoom. We'll zoom through the other one. Come on back out. That was cool, huh? All right, now. Let's click here. One, two, three. All right, we're in there now. All right. Next, <clears throat> we're going to do the roof. We're going to come over here and we're going to grab a pyramid. Bring it in. Let's change it to black or the color of your choice. Click here, and our pyramid roof is 100 by 54 by 12. And 12 here now. <clears throat> I have debated increasing the height on this, but I haven't done it as of yet. All right, so let's click here, and let's just bring this guy up to where it belongs. And boy, we sure are resembling something now, aren't we? We do have many parts to do yet, though. Um, we have to do the cutouts for all the doors and windows, and then we have to do the doors and windows. Then, I just like to make sure that's over the deck. And then leaving a little over the back, we should be good. I'm going to drop it down a little more. And so, yeah, a lot to do because we've got to cut out all the recessions here. And then we're going to do the stairs, and that takes a minute. So hang in there. And we're going to do the small windows. And so we've got over here, I've got one, <clears throat> two, three small windows, all at 10. And it looks like I've got them raised up. Um, one of them's 14, one of them's 42. So let's bring in a transparent box. And we're going to go 10 by 10 by 10. All right. And I know I need three of them, so I'm going to duplicate. This one I'm going to wait to the other one, though. But um, So <clears throat> one of them goes upstairs. Let's go ahead and bring that up here. And this one goes here. So per my cheat sheet, let's put this somewhere good, not important. 
up to you exactly where it goes. And uh, according to my cheat sheet, I need to move this one up 14. And let's make sure it's inside of it. Now we will grab this and pull. Make sure you grab the black. All right. And there we go. And let's hold shift down and click the, the, ba the base body. Blah, blah, blah. All right. There we go. Now, I would like one here. And this one tells me 42 on my cheat sheet. So I'm going to go to 42. All right, here we go. I'm going to press in. Hold shift and click that. There we go. Now we got that one. All right. The big window. All right, 55, 1.5 by 8 by 45. All right, so we're going to bring one here. And the cutout for the big window, let's lay this here. And we're going to click the side. And we need this to be, here is 51.5, which I'm not sure exactly why I did that. But there's probably a method to my madness, so I'm not going to argue with it now. All right, uh, by 8, so we'll click here. <clears throat> And we're going to go 8. All right. And now we need to go to a sensible place. We will go up 45. Swing around. Grab your black one. Push it through. We have equal on both sides. Hold shift. Click the body of the model up top. And there we go. Now you got some windows. 